Uh, okay, if you click this video, you might be interested in learning 10 useful phrases in Swedish. Well, that's fortunate because that's the title of the video and the content of the video as well. If you're expecting a video on rock climbing or something, then I'm confused. This is also a first video in a new series of mine that is yet to be named about life in Sweden and visiting Sweden and things you can do here and shit. Yes, Julian's Guide to Sweden. Sexy, sexy stuff. Welcome, fucking hell, whoever, who, did, never mind. Roll the intro, I guess. Is there an intro for this series? I don't know yet. Don't get fooled everyone by my semi-British accent in English. I am very much from Sweden. I don't think I can hide it at this point though. My English is rubbish. Don't worry, I'm a translator as well. So this should be fine, everyone. You can trust these 10 phrases with your life. I mean, all of these are gonna come in very handy because Swedish people are notorious for their lack of English skills. <laughs> but without any further ado, let's uh, let's do this. Or should I say, nu kör vi. Let's start off with a, with an easy one, that, uh, one that uh, many of you probably know already. Hey, you say hey a lot in Sweden. Now, as most of you probably know, this means lubrication. Now, it's common in Sweden to repeat the same word in greetings or in phrases in general, so you could say, hey, hey, mm -hmm. you're a bit more excited. This is in honor of Odin's two ravens, hey and hey. Variations on this are, you can also say, sha, if you're a bit cooler. You can also double this one, so say, sha, sha. <laughs> you can also say, shilling. You shouldn't say shilling twice, though. Shilling, shilling. <laughs> it's a bit too excited, I think. People in Sweden like to keep things you know, on a level. It'll be like a cultural course later on as well, so <laughs> stick around for that, yeah. Okay, um, water. Brr. How do you say water, you say? All right. You're new here in the country and you've just learned how to say hello to someone. Good start, yes indeed. Now maybe you're, you're you know, just off the plane and you're confused as hell and you need directions. So you need to get someone's attention by saying, excuse me. There are a few variants of this as well, but the most common one, I suppose, is you, you say, ursäkta. Or actually, the most common one is just that you kind of <laughs> sort of edge closer to someone and go <clears throat> um, but yeah excuse me is ursäkta. you'll learn throughout this course that Swedish is not a very sexy language worth noting is that Swedish people in general don't like being bothered especially but not by others so starting things off with an excuse me is probably a good idea all right so now you've got their attention and the poor sod can't get away so you need to say where is something where is the train station where is Ikea? That's the first thing you ask when you get off the plane. The phrase here is, is you say Var ligger? And then whatever you're looking for. Var ligger Ikea? Var ligger tågstationen? Var ligger min mama? Now hopefully you've got an answer. They probably answered in English because you, they noticed that you're not very fluent. Um, you might want to say thank you because you're not an asshole. <laughs> and thank you in Swedish is tack. And again, this is quite common to uh, to double as well. So you say tak tak. Again, in honor of Odin's two ravens, tak and tak. Now we've learned how to say hello and we've learned how to say thank you. If you add an and between, which is ok, you end up with the beauty that is tak or hey, which naturally translates to goodbye. I'm not shitting you. This is doesn't make sense, but it's true. Tak or hey, thank you and hello means goodbye. Another way of saying goodbye is hey do, which is quite weird as well. You say hello, but in the past, kind of. Now, if you really want to impress people, you can say taco hey, leave a paste, which I won't even go into because Jesus, there are kids watching perhaps. Another phrase is for snop and nobody have all on, but you, you shouldn't use that one because that's French. Another useful phrase is how are you doing? In most languages, you want to ask people how they how they how they feel, how their day is going. Who more do might be a tricky one. I don't know. Who more do? Who are my day on? Mm-hmm. Don't have to be that aggressive. Sorry. Who hang your hammaren? Mm -hmm. If you're running late for a date with a beautiful Swedish person with boring personality but with quite nice cheekbones, you might want to ask someone what time it is because you've lost your smartphone for whatever reason. Var är klockan? What even is a watch? Speaking of dates in Sweden, I think I'm going to make a video about this specifically. Uh, but um, if you want to ask someone out in Swedish, I suppose the phrase is Vill du gå på date med mig? They don't fall down in an orgasmic spasm after that. I don't know what you did wrong. <laughs> a orgasmic spasm, by the way, just one spasm. And to cap things off, a very useful phrase in Swedish is obviously cruising in. Yeah, I've talked about this in so many videos now. Holy shit. But it's a really useful phrase, which means don't take any shit from anyone. It's a wise old saying from the north of Sweden. Uh, and there you have it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. With these 10 phrases in your luggage, you will be quite fine in Sweden. 
you would be without them as well because everyone here speaks English but still <laughs> if you want to impress people here in Sweden they might come in handy I assure you that the rest of the videos in this series will not be as pointless at all as this one this is kind of the pilot episode anyway but yeah if you enjoyed this video please do leave it a like and stuff and also share it around with people you know who are going to visit Sweden soon and who might find this interesting fuck it I don't know because I really want to make this a thing I think this is gonna be fun this can be fun this can be fun also if you have suggestions for topics Sweden related please do leave them down in the comments Fuck yeah. All the social media shit is covered right now, I think, as well. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, this turned into like a proper YouTube ending of the video. Goodness, don't know how I feel about this. Mm.